Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's supposed to be out here, D. Look, you see this? Yeah. They're going to tell him. They don't care. They don't care. Wow. So this guy was out there. He shouldn't even be out there like that. Security's telling him he got to go. Yeah. What people do for an Instagram post. How you doing today? You rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. I'm out here with my friend D. Shout out to D. D, where we at? What's the name of this town? Today we are in the town of Chalchuapa. Chalchuapa. Yes. And what's right. what's special about this town? Well, this town is special because it has two archaeological sites. Okay. And they have one that is called Tazumal and the other one is called Casablanca, like the movie. Okay. Um, and those are, well, Tazumal is like the biggest, one of the biggest archaeological, loud, yeah, one of the biggest archaeological sites uh -huh. in El Salvador and then okay. Casablanca is a smaller one. Okay. And then the other reason why this city is known for okay. is uh, because of the food. The food, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why is that the food good or is it different or? They have a, I don't know if I, if, if you have noticed that cassava is like a very important dish. Yes. So they make it special here. They have like their own style, their own recipe and that's why it's famous for. Oh wow. Apparently they're having some kind of fair. Festival? Yeah. Okay, some kind of festival. I see the food here is nice too from what I can see. So they usually it's usually not like this. It's usually not packed like this. I don't think I don't think the uh, the, the food stalls. What are, is this right here? What is this right here? It's meat. Uh, grill meat. Yeah. Okay. You hear the beating rack on mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, we can go over that way then. Let's go check out the church real quick. Oh, you're right. They do have some kind of... You were right about that, D. Yeah, they do have some kind of event. Going yeah, on. some kind of event going on. And they have the fireworks. Yeah, I hear them during the day. They're announcing the event, whatever it is, because... I wouldn't be able to tell you what the event is. Okay. So we have the church right here. Let's walk in the church for a second. Colonial style. Let's walk in here. The front of it at least. You had a little kid? <laughs> yeah. Let's just see the front of it real quick. Do you want to go by the pyramids? Yeah, we can go to the pyramids so we can show them around. Uh -huh. I just want to let them see the front of it. Boom. Alright, let me guys, let me show you the, the name. This is the name right here. Letter A has the, the pyramids okay. right there. Alright. 
você. All right, let's go this way because I know where the music is at now. Over there. So, is every time we've been to had some kind of festival when we in it? Did you time it like that, or it just happened like that? No, it's just a coincidence. But mo more than likely, if there's gonna be an event, it's gonna happen on a Saturday or Sunday because that's when people are off of work okay. and they have time to come and chill and like come come out to the park or bring the kids out or something. That's why more like more events happen on the weekend. Okay. But when it's the like the local festivities, there can be events like on a weekday. It can happen too. If you see this uh, this little park, this little plaza is smaller than the other ones yes, that we've it been is. to. Why is that? The I don't know. Some parts are smaller, some parts are bigger, some of them are well taken care of, some of them are a little bit dirty. From what okay. I have seen, this town is on the dirtier side, side. Of things. yeah there's a like a lot of trash on the ground and everything but you know it's it's not uncommon for okay. for El Salvador and where are we at where are we at in El Salvador is this the east the west the south the north where are we at um we are in the west the west okay. the west side yeah we're the west close side. west side we're close to um to Santa Ana that's the nearest town, okay. Santa Ana. Okay. So if you see, there's like a couple uh, restaurants around here. Okay. A couple cafeterias and everything. It seems to be like a very quiet town. Okay, let's keep So we can just walk around for a couple blocks and then uh, we can go to the pyramids. Okay. So they can see better. Okay. There's a um, the road outside of the pyramids has a lot of stalls and you can find uh, food vendors okay. and also a lot of souvenirs. Okay. And the souvenirs in that part of the city have more like an uh, like a native theme, like our, because it's outside of the of the pyramids, okay. so it more is it's more related to that, like Mayan type of stuff. Okay. Um, what happened? You can find no, no, no. Oh. I was just looking. Uh, you can find things that are like the the, the common theme is gonna be the pyramid. Okay. And so everything in the town is based on the pyramid. Yeah, because that's what's famous about this town. Another thing that you can do in the other. The other side, the smaller one that is called Casablanca. Uh, so they to you, have, this way, that way, this way. I think we're going to the center of town this way. Okay. Gracias. The other thing that you can see in Casablanca is how they process and how they work with um, natural dyes. Okay. They Nat show you how natural dyes were made because, uh, if I'm not wrong, they used to process a lot of uh, indigo in here. Okay. Like the blue clothing, have you seen that? Yes. They do the tie dye and everything that is blue. Okay. That is a natural dye. Uh -huh. In Spanish, it's called añil. Uh -huh. In Spanish, it's called añil. And yeah. it was actually one of the main products that El Salvador imported back in the day. I'm guessing around the 1800s. That's the main thing that that El Salvador imported to Europe, okay. natural dyes. Okay. So a common theme that you have seen with these cities is that they're very quiet, very calm. Like on a Sunday, it's very slow. I could tell. Yeah, it's very, very slow. Everyone's at home. You know chilling resting because a lot of people from these places they go either to Santa Ana or even to San Salvador to work so on the weekends they just want to rest because the commute 
Yeah, the it's commute. Wear it's a wear and tear on them. Yeah, yeah. Like for example, I have relatives here, and um, my niece works in a call center, and she travels like every single day. She has to wake up like at four in the morning, mm -hmm. and then she comes back at nine, and she has to pay. She doesn't. Oh, uh -huh, I'm alright. And she doesn't uh, take the regular bus. She takes like a special bus. Okay. And that you pay a little extra. And it but takes you straight to where you gotta go. Yeah. Without any stops. Yeah. It doesn't have any stops, and like only those people can travel there, so it's a little bit safer. Mm -hmm. But he has, she has to do the commute every single week, so you know people want to chill for a little bit. Another thing that I think you can tell about this city is that the constructions are very old. Yes, it's colonial. Um, not exactly colonial, I would think, That's but, not, no. but uh, it's very old. Okay. Like it has a very specific style. Oh, okay. Everything's very old. It looks similar to Xanthotec lot of me. It's just a little less more t less traffic. Is it really like Santa Tecla to you? Similar in some places it does. Okay. Guys in the description section, what do you guys think? Is this like Santa Tecla, El Salvador, or another place? Let us know. So you want to walk up that way? No, yeah. Or you want to go straight to, to the pyramid? Okay, we can go up so they can see this and... We have to walk on the sidewalk too. Yeah. Another thing about this type of uh, towns is that the streets are very narrow. I can tell. Yeah. So that's why a lot of them are one-way streets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Most of the of the streets in this town are one way because they're too narrow. Uh -huh. I have seen a lot of people looking at you today. Yeah, because they probably don't see black people in this town. Yeah. This was a good idea to walk this way. We finally did something right there. I appreciate it. Give me a high five. People at the marketplace. Yeah. That's what size. You see your boy Philly Don be doing some raw videos. You see that? I'm everywhere. But I'm Philly's own. So you've never really been here that much in this town that much? Not in this, like, not in the, the marketplace, not in the, this exact But zone. down, okay. But I have been uh, close to the pyramids because that's where my cousin lives. I have okay. a cousin that lives close, like, to the pyramid. close to the pyramids, like one block away from the pyramids. So when, when I come here, I come straight to visit her. Mm -hmm. I don't, mm -hmm. We don't really go out that much. I go okay. straight to the house. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that everything's changing. So now in these towns, you can also get food delivered to your house and everything. So if we want to order something, we just order in and they bring it to the house. Okay.
so you can if you can hear like yeah. something very distinctive about the marketplaces in El Salvador is that people are gonna be announcing what they're yeah, selling. What they're selling. Yeah. Let's make the left here so we can make tours back to the center again. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, You saw the baby? Yeah, yeah because uh, the sellers don't have, not every city, like for example, Santa Tecla does have a daycare for the market workers. Oh, they do. They do have a, a city daycare, but it doesn't happen in all towns because you know, Santa Tecla is a bigger city. Yeah, this is a smaller town. This so is a smaller town, so the the local government doesn't have enough funding to help them all to have a a city daycare. So if you come during the day, like for example on a week on a weekday, mm -hmm. you're gonna see the kids in uniform doing homework. Like they find a little place where they can do their homework and. The moms are selling and taking care of them, mm -hmm. or they have the little babies here. You're gonna see little babies sleeping in crates or boxes or something like. They have to to make it work because there's no other way. Like to take, they don't have childcare. Okay, so they gotta figure it out. They have to figure it out. It's kind of a little hot in here. We're going straight out and make the left. It is. Wow, it goes forever. It goes forever. I guess we can go see the pyramids now. Yeah. We're just gonna walk, uh, circle back and okay. walk back to the car. Oh, it's really hot in here. Gracias. Well, you can exercise in the day, D. Yeah, we have gotten a little workout for the day. And we still have a ways to go. Ways to go. Yeah. yeah. All right. This, yeah, and that should take us right back to the center. It's a little bigger than what I thought it was out here. Little... No, this this city is big. Uh -huh. um, but most of it is like houses, houses, houses. Okay. The businesses and everything is like in the in this little small part of the town. Right here too. Yeah, San yeah. Salvador is a lot warmer. Yeah, this city is hot during the day. It's a lot cooler at night. Okay. But during the day, it feels hot. The camera is hot. I ain't never had that. Yeah. Your camera's hot? Yeah, I mean, it's just because it's hot outside. Yeah. The sun is very bright beaming. Right now. The sun is beaming out here like Willie Beaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A 
as you can see uh, as we walk down it starts to die down again like less and less people yes you guys working hard on a Sunday a lot of abandoned houses or empty lots is because people are choosing to live in the new developments that there there are around like they're still in the city of Chicago but they're not like in the center is more like the suburbs okay so there's big residential areas like uh -huh. the one that is already uh, built is called uh, Ciudad Real Ciudad Real yeah that is like a huge development they're like townhouses, one like one close to the other, and they they all look the same. Like very, I think it's very American. Like all the houses look the same, and one is next to the other. Uh, they have like very affordable houses. It goes in like in stages. Mm -hmm. They have very affordable houses, and they have houses that are a little bit more expensive. So a lot of people are choosing to look, to live in those newer areas. Aha, uh -huh. makes sense. Yeah, because you know, it looks different and it's like a gated community. So it gives you the sense of more security and stuff. So that's why. And right now they're building another one. So a lot of people I think are gonna keep uh, moving out of the of the city and into the suburbs. Okay. So we're making our way to the pyramids. On my way there right now with D. Let's go. Okay, D took me to the pyramid. What's the name of it? It's called Tasumal. Tasumal. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Like Casamal, Tasumal. Casamal is Mexico. Uh, That's Cozumel. Cozumel, yes. I've been there too, D. Not to brag, but I've been there a couple of times. Okay. That's Matter good. of fact, it's a guy from Philly that lives there in Cozumel. That's Mexico. But back to El Salvador. Let's go back to El Salvador. Uh, we're going to see how much it costs to get in. Oh, wow. Oh, so guys, we're going inside the entrance. Muy bien, pasen adelante. Gracias. Ah, so this is the ruins right here. That's all right. Yeah, they have a little museum. Uh -huh. uh, like in here. Okay. And then they have the pyramids and you can walk around. The only thing that you cannot do is climb the pyramid. Oh, you can't climb no, the Oh, no. interesting. Yeah. The ones in Belize, you can do that. But yeah. they, they don't want to damage it, I understand. Because, you know resources we don't have the resources to keep like maintaining it so it's like you can climb this little part but that part over there you cannot so when you say resources you guys have a lot more money than Belize right so how is Belize letting people climb theirs wait a minute people are climbing right there yeah I told you like this part you can take a picture and everything you're not allowed to go in the back part oh okay okay yeah because they only charge like for example we paid to come in yes. i paid a dollar yeah. and we paid five dollars for you so that's for being but American. how many how many foreigners do you think come here not many not many so they're not charging a lot of people five dollars they're just charging a dollar for salvadorians that's not for the and then if someone is wondering like well then charge salvadorians more it's like no, we not, cannot afford that's not fair they shouldn't even yeah. charge you guys because this it is should, your, it should your be homeland for, yeah but, it should be for free and then a lot of people a lot of people can't afford it. To be honest, in the States, they would have charged too, even though, but you're going to say that people make more money there and stuff like that. Yeah, because you know, a dollar is affordable. Okay. Because if you're coming from San Salvador, uh -huh. you need to pay gas, and then if you bring kids, they want something to eat, blah, 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 it adds up. Can you walk them steps, or I got to do it myself? Can you get up the steps? Why wouldn't I be able to I'm get up the steps? I'm just talking trash to you, D. Okay. Oh. 
Tell what's them, new? Tell them what kind of, she says, that's not what's new. What's new? Well, you, can, you ain't figuring it out yet, so I keep using the same tactics. You tell them how I was running, we was running hills the other day, tell them how I did. You was amazed to see a guy of my age run them hills like that. Yeah. Like I said, I'm still waiting for you to get out of Salvadorian, my age, to do what I did. I want, I'm gonna find him, watch out. Oh man, look what you gotta do to go to to get content. You're a YouTuber in training, content creator in change. Yep. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, ah. They're trying to preserve it the best way they can, so that's why they won't let you go all inside there. Yeah. Here we go. If you want, we can climb the other steps and then go that way. Oh, you want to go around the whole thing? Well, we can cut it through the grass if you want. It's up to you. I think there's a... Oh, you can't jump over to you that old? Yeah, no. Let's just go around. Okay. The ain't adventurous like you think thought she was. There we go. Or oh, you want to cut it when we yeah, go with it? We can cut it that way. Whoa. Oh, man. And how many ruins do you think they have here? In the There's a lot of archaeological sites. However, a lot of them are, they haven't been discovered or they are very small and they were never preserved. So people eventually destroyed them. CD, or, that's what we could have did. But we need to exercise. We needed to climb stairs either way, so it's fine. So maybe they're not preserved. Okay. Or they're under constructions. Like in Son Sonata, for example, there's a huge residential development that is built okay. on top of some of an archaeological site. Okay. Um, he cut a lot of attention because the government was not supposed to give uh, permissions, like oh, permits. for people to check it out. No, they shouldn't have allowed the construction company to build oh. over a like an archaeological site. But you know, stuff happened. Antiguo Cuscatlan, because that's why there we go. Antiguo Cuscatlan is called that because it was the, actually the kingdom of Cuscatlan. It was a uh -huh. settlement. Okay, let's go up here. Well, I go up here myself. I got it. I don't want to put you through some hard work. You only in your early thirties. How much should I work you out like that? There we go. Anything else you want to say, or you think we should wrap around the whole place? It's up to you. We can walk and see what's on the other side. Must be the bathroom and stuff down there. Yeah. And I know that this place is like way smaller than Copan or Tikal or um, obviously way smaller than the places in Mexico but you also have to remember that the country as a whole okay. is very small. Mm -hmm. This is a very tiny country so that's why uh, even the archaeological sites are are small. Uh, Casablanca mm -hmm. that is also here in this town mm -hmm. is like super tiny. You can only see the pyramids are not completely uncovered okay you can just see the little bumps uh -huh. because they're just partially uncovered wow look at this look at the pyramid wow okay i guess this is as far as we can go yeah unless we, we go down go, there we can go down this way okay there's the steps all right thank you Okay, D, I got a very important question to ask you. Tell me. So, the ruins, who are, they, who are these ruins for? What, what, uh, what Mayan. Are they? Mayan in the yeah. end. It was a Mayan, uh, Mayan okay. ruins. And they were, um, let's say discovered, but I would say more likely uncovered in uh -huh. the 1940s. Okay. They did excavation in the uh -huh. 1940s, and that's when they uncovered the, okay. the ruins. Wow, this is beautiful. This is nice, D. 
as you can see, you can get like a guided tour if you yeah, want see. to, or if not, you can just walk around on your own. D, we already know who the best tour guide is in all El Salvador, is you. Oh, so this guy is you. just secondary to what you're doing. That's very kind of you. Any last words, Dee? Uh, well, I think that it will be an invitation for everyone so they can come and see. I know that if you have visited the ruins in other countries, it's not going to be as surprising, but you're going to be supporting the park so they can keep up with the work. So try to, if possible, try to come and visit. Okay, so that's it from Chalchuapa. Okay, that's the name of the town, right? That's the name of the town, Chalchuapa. We're like a couple minutes away from Santa Ana okay. and then uh, like about an hour away from San Salvador. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's supposed to be out here, D. Look, you see this? Yeah. They're going to tell him. Don't they don't care. They don't care. Wow, so this guy was out there, he shouldn't even be out there like that. Security's telling him he got to go. Yeah do for an Instagram post or YouTube or what else Facebook picture I don't know what else do you use it for so once again please share my videos please give my videos a like and support your boy the one and only Philly Dom I'm out here with the best tour guide in El Salvador I'll put her up against anybody out here as far as giving tours of the country she knows the history the culture and she loves the food in El Salvador <laughs> So we talk to you guys in the next video. And it's your boy, the one and only, once again, signing off from El Salvador and the name of the town again. Chalchuapa. 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 There you go. Peace out.